Origin of a New Science. Welcome to Scientific Station. I'm Brendan Crawwell. When people think about Darwin, Origin of Species, they tend to think about the cultural conflicts that's created with social Darwinism and with the perceived challenges to religion. What people don't necessarily think about is that botany, the science of botany, was transformed by the publication of Origin of Species. A recent article published in the journal Science looked at the state of botany before Origin of Species and compared it to afterward. Before Origin of Species, botanists were looked at as just being collectors, going out, naming plants, collecting samples of them, and not really contributing much to scientific knowledge. There was a debate between natural history and natural philosophy, and botanists were looked at as being natural historians, just collectors, and not really adding much to philosophy. And they yearned to be considered more of natural philosophers. In this argument, there were some botanists who were called lumpers and some who were called splitters. The lumpers just wanted to give the same name to a lot of different organisms that looked similar, and the splitters wanted to name everything that looked different a different name, more or less. What Origin of Species did was give this natural history, this collecting of plant material, a philosophical edge. What had just been viewed as a type of stamp collecting, going out and collecting plants, was now considered a way of constructing the history of life. We, botanists were now able to give insight into natural phenomena, natural laws, after using the philosophies put forth in Origin of Species. So Origin of Species also helped botany become a real science in the view of the common culture at that time. For more information, visit scientificstation.com.